Uh, but I, I had one of the subscribers ask me to uh, to show them how I how I rig up my corn. So I'm gonna do that right now. This is how we do the corn. We're using 30 pound test braid line. We got a T swivel, sinker with a leader, a 17 pound fluorocarbon leader, 17 pound because of water stain in here and you can use heavier line. And your basic hook. I, I don't know exactly what number this is. It's not that big. So what, what we do, and we keep the corn cold. That's very important. You keep it cold, it'll last about three days. So you can put it on the hooks this way. Or you can put them on sideways. Or I like to put them on sideways because you get more on, and the more on there, the more they can smell. That's my theory. Well, you can put them on either way. You put them on the other way, they stay on longer, I think. So we got about five, six strands of corn on there. Using a bait caster in this pole. Throw it out in the middle and leave the bell open and wait while I uh, use alarms. So that's pretty much it for for the setup. It's pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. But you want heavy line because these carp can get real big. They can break you off like one, two, three. Well. I hope that helps. And now we're going to be hooking up the other poles. Now to keep our corn cold, there's our corn. To keep it cold, we use one of these ice packs and get it at Walmart and it with a little cooler. And just put it in the ice pack. Put it on top there. We also have worms to keep them cool too. And the corn will last about three days. If you don't keep it cool, it, uh, it'll lump up and it won't stick on the hook. And, but it's, it's good for maybe three days. So 50 cents for a can of corn. We're big for three days. Man. Uh, we do a lot of chowing. I use 50 cents every time I come. It's cheap enough. Right, Max? But Max will eat the corn if you leave it open. Oh, no, get get out there. Some on the hook. I got another ring I'm going to be putting in. Okay, we got three poles in, one with minnows, two with corn. Now it's just a waiting game now. Oh, I, I'm, I'm getting hit already, just as I'm talking on the corn. Usually when they take it, they'll, they'll hook themselves. On that very first pole, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there we go. We're getting a hit. All right, that didn't take long. Only been there like 10 minutes. It just ain't taking it. It's already warmed up. Other fish will hit the corn I've caught. I've caught catfish with corn, rock bass, black bass. Small mouth, large mouth, perch, I caught just about everything that swims in. Now see, stop. Usually they just take it, they hook themselves. So I'm, uh, I'm going to chum the spot a little bit more. Give it a try. Okay, we we got it back out there, we're rebated. I'm going to chum it again a little bit more. Just got a little too excited. You want to leave a little bit of slack in your line too. So when they take it and they fill that sinker, then they want to drop it they, and they hook themselves. They hook themselves nine, nine out of 10 times. Nine times out of 10 times, you ain't got to set the hook. These are gone with it. 
I've had them take my pole off right across the canal. Reel everything, boom, gone. So I'm using alarms now. All right, we just filled the slingshot up again and we try to throw them out in the same area. There. Can't throw it that far by with with that by hand, so I use a slingshot. Works great. Oh, there, there. That's a good pattern right there. Got to draw them. In. They can gobble that up quick. It's a good idea. I'll bring a couple cans of corn. Use one can to chum with, and the other one for bait. Hopefully, get a little action here. I'm gonna go down and chum the other spot where I got the other pole. Got the other pole down a ways. So I'm gonna walk down there and chum that area. I just can't leave I can't leave my corn open because Max will see. Max will steal the corn if he can. The hooks we are using are Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Number Two Bronze. Looks like LO44G. Number Two Quantity Ten. You get ten on package. I don't know what they cost, but they're pretty good hooks, and they are sharp. All right, we're gonna put some more corn and, and open up this can of corn. It's just a local store brand, Wegmans. Uh, 15 ounce, whole kernel, crisp, and sweet corn. Crisp and sweet. But you wanna use sweet corn, because they have a good sense of smell. All right. Okay, we're gonna open up this can and put it in the bucket. Mm. We always carry a can opener with, with us. And get a four or five dollar can opener, a fairly good one. The last whole season, maybe longer. Now the first thing I do is I usually drain off the water that's in it. It's packed in water or whatever it's packed in. Who knows? And there's the car. And this. Now after you open it. I'm gonna rebate my poles and check them again. I've been chumming, I chum quite a bit, so. Put the lid on it. Put it back in the cooler. Just try to, try to keep it cool. And then when you get home, keep it in the refrigerator. You'll get two or three days out of it. Maybe even four days. But if you don't, you only get maybe one day. Then it'll get all lumpy. If you don't keep it cool. Another thing, take the empty cam with you. It won't kill you to put it in your backpack and dispose of it properly. Don't leave it at the fishing spot. Thank you. And one thing with carp, if you get one on and lose them, or if he feels a hook and he takes off, all the other carp will follow him. If there's one or if there's a hundred, or 500. If the one takes off, every one of those carbon will follow that one.
So you have to wait for a new batch or find them. So I've been learning this from fishing for them. Just one more little tip. Thanks for watching our videos. May the good Lord take a liking to you. And we'll see you the next time.